Alright, well, before I begin, I mean, this is going to be a reaction video, um, but I actually, this is my second attempt at making this video. My first attempt, which normally I don't do, I do first take, take it or leave it, whatever, but, uh, I was just sitting here talking to the camera, and all of a sudden, my left arm went numb, started tingling, got a real bad pain right up here. And then it went away, but of course it spooks me because I've had five heart attacks. So, you know, it, it scared me. So I had to stop and sit here for a minute and breathe. And the thing is, ever since my last, you know, well, actually since my first heart attack, I've been getting nothing but random left arm. It just hurts. You know, starts hurting for no reason. And everyone's like, oh, well, maybe it's just the nerve damage from, uh, being without oxygen for a while, which could be, but I just, you know, you know, that's why I reached over and grabbed my handy dandy little, uh, I don't know if you can see that there, that would be 0 0.4 milligram nitroglycerin tablets, um, can't go anywhere without them, you know, it's one of those, if you guys don't know, it's, or may have just heard about it, basically, it's, you, you start feeling maybe a heart attack, and you put one under your tongue, and it expands the arteries and allows blood flow, which for momentarily, you know, from 30 seconds up to 5 minutes, you know, it stops the heart attack feelings, you know, it calms the heart down, and in some cases it will stop a heart attack, but, um... Yeah, and the thing is, it gives you the worst headache because your blood pressure bottoms out. You know, all the blood just drains because all your arteries just take super expanded, you know, which saves lives, but it sucks because it makes your head pound. But at any rate, that's why I didn't just take one. I, I, I put it off unless I absolutely have to, but it is a lifesaver. So, anyways, um, I came across this video, which the link will be in the description down below. Uh, a man who, the video starts, he's already being confronted by a cop in his driveway. The, the uh, label for the video states, you know, being pulled over for a bent license plate. Or, uh, well, confronted. Now, the thing is, it's taking place in the man's driveway. So, that right there kind of throws up a red flag for me. Did the cop try to pull him over on the street, and he decided to keep going until he got home because he was close to home? Chances are that's what happened. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go by. It's the assumption that he decided to keep going until he got home. So, yeah, cigarettes. Great for a bad heart, right? But let me tell you right now, I know, not good, but uh, it's the only addiction I have. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I'm not even allowed to have pain medicine anymore because doctors are afraid to write pain medicine. So, this is what I do. I smoke. It sucks. I know I get it. Not healthy, but it is what it is. So, uh, so yeah. So, the guy's very standoffish to the cop. Got his hand up. You know, doesn't want the cop to come any closer. And he's, he's saying the whole, I don't want you to come closer. You have a gun. I don't feel comfortable. Which, okay. Maybe he's got a fear of cops. It happens. So, um, the cop's asking for ID. And the guy says, you know, you have my name, you have my address, you have my license plate. You don't need my ID. Well, if the cop tried to pull you over for a tra traffic infraction, then yes, you have to show ID. You have to show your driver's license to prove you're legal to drive. That's just the way it is in all 50 states. So, it goes on, and uh, the cop asks for ID, asks for ID. The guy keeps backing up, says no, no, no. And eventually, so the cop grabs him, goes to put him under arrest, and the guy's struggling, at least a little bit. You know, I mean, not, not like he's hitting the cop or nothing like that. He's just, you know, of course he doesn't want to be arrested. You know, been there. So, um, yeah, so the cop... Arrest him, and the neighbor starts yelling, you know, he's a hard-working man, all those things. Well, you know, hard-working men still have to obey the law. So, my thing is, the video 
uh, description in that is a call to action. We need to get down there. We need to audit this place or whatever. Um, you know, that's just... It's wrong. The thing is, the guy... Like I said, we're going by the assumption he ran... Or, or kept driving until he got home. Not necessarily ran. I don't want to be misquoted as saying the guy was some felony, whatever. The thing is, when you don't stop when the cops tell you to, um, you know, if you keep driving, they can call it felony eluding. They treat it as you tried to run. Even if you get home, get out of the car, throw your hands up, get on your knees. That doesn't matter. A lot of people think because you drive home, you're in your driveway, they can't take your car. Yes, they can. But, at any rate, the thing is, the neighbors are all upset and yelling and all that. And it's like, well, the, the cop asked the guy a whole bunch of times, give me your ID, I want your ID. And he wouldn't give up his ID. I don't understand why. If, he, if you believe the cop already has all your information, then why don't you just show him your ID? Well... Probably because he didn't have one, or his license was, you know, or he's not the person he says it is. You know, which, that that happens a lot, too, you know. So, um, I, I just don't get it. If you believe the cops have everything they need, why wouldn't you give it to them? Just, you could have saved yourself a lot of trouble, maybe gotten a ticket or two or something, but that's it. You didn't need to start all this trouble. So, I don't know. Like I said, the, the link is down below. See what you think. I just, I, I don't think the cop was, maybe he was a little too aggressive, maybe. But he was still acting well within the law. The guy was refusing to cooperate, which is obstruction. So, the cop could have, you know, I don't know what the charges may have ended up being, but... The cop could have hammered him for felony eluding and uh, obstruction of justice, all those things. So, why why push it? Why? It makes no sense to me unless you really do have something to hide. In which case, you probably should be arrested anyways, you know. So, uh, you know, it's things like this that are making it harder for the average person. You know, the cops are now expecting people to behave this way. So they automatically go on the defensive. You know, which, how can you blame them? I mean, no, I'm not trying to cheer for the cops. I'm just looking at reality. Common sense. You know, if the guy broke a law, or it was simple traffic infraction, or simple bent license plate, and the cop already knows where you live... Give them your ID. Get it over with. Take the ticket. It sucks. You got to pay another bill, but eat it. Move on. No, it's got to turn into this big fiasco now. And there's a whole bunch of comments about in the video, including my own, about, you know, what was going on and how a lot of people feel it was wrong. The cop shouldn't have done it, blah, blah, blah. I believe personally that the cop was in the right. I mean, he was doing his job. The guy refused to ID. You know, the next step is you you uh, detain them and you search their person because you have you know they have probable cause now. So search a person for ID. Figure out why this person won't ID. You know, you guys may be cheering on his side or whatever because you hate cops. We don't know if that cop or that guy is the next uh, big bomber or something. We don't know. We don't know if he's got a warrant out for child abuse or something. We have no idea. Maybe that's why he's trying to hide his ID. Maybe he's got a twin brother who has a clean record and he's got a dirty record. So he gave his brother's name. We don't know. So stop just automatically assuming the cop was evil. You know... Give me the ID. Move on with life. Like I said, tell me what you think. I mean, you don't have to agree with me. Most of you probably don't. That's fine. Open forum. You know, I'm just curious what other people think. I, want, I just want people to look at it from an open mind perspective. 
don't go in with the assumption that the cop was wrong. The cop was evil. The cop meant to take the guy down. You know, just look at it as the, a normal person taking into consideration, why did the cop approach him? Why is he in his driveway instead of being pulled over on the street? You got to think about all those things. Okay, you know, like I said, I would I would love to hear your opinions. You know, just tell me what you think. All right, you know, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want. If you don't, I understand. All right, have a good day, and I'll see you next time.